Greetings from Ahmedabad University. My name is Deepak Kunzru and I am Distinguished Professor of Chemical Engineering and the Dean Graduate School and Research at Ahmedabad University. Before joining Ahmedabad University, I was a faculty at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur for more than 41 years where I also served as Head Department of Chemical Engineering, Dean Resource Planning and Generation and Dean Research and Development. I have also spent a semester at MIT USA. In this video, I will briefly tell you all there is to know about studying chemical engineering, what it is, what chemical engineers do and the highlights of chemical engineering education at Ahmedabad University. Chemical engineering is a branch of engineering that uses principles of chemistry, applied physics, life sciences, applied mathematics and economics to efficiently produce chemicals and energy. Chemical engineering principles are used for the production of a variety of products such as fibers, fabrics, paints, drugs, biomaterials, gasoline, cosmetics, etc. A chemical engineer is someone who designs large-scale processes that convert chemicals, raw materials and energy into useful forms and products. It is the responsibility of chemical engineers to discover and implement new products and processes that are useful and economical. Chemical engineers are involved in many aspects of plant design and operation, including safety and hazard assessment, process design and analysis, control engineering and chemical reaction engineering. Traditionally, chemical engineers have been employed in diverse industries such as petroleum refining, petrochemicals, fertilizers, different inorganic chemicals, polymers and textiles. In recent times, increased emphasis on life sciences has highlighted biotechnology and pharmaceutical firms as good opportunities for young chemical engineers. Chemical engineers have made significant contributions around the world in many different areas. Let me give, get you acquainted with some famous chemical engineers. The richest Indian Mukesh Ambani, Roberto Guezotto, former chairman and CEO of Coca-Cola, Professor M. M. Sharma, Padm Vibhushan, former director of ICT Mumbai, Jack Welch, former chairman and chief executive officer of General Electric, Xi Jinping, general secretary of the Communist Party of China, K. Vijay Raghavan, the current principal scientific advisor to the government of India, Ashutosh Sharma, the immediate past secretary of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Gujarat is the chemical hub of India and is a major contributor of the national chemical sector output. Currently, the chemical industry is the largest and fastest growing component of Gujarat's manufacturing sector. Southeast Gujarat has been developed as an industrial cluster for chemicals and petrochemicals. In fact, over the last past two decades, Gujarat has become one of the most preferred locations for industrial investment in India for chemical industry. All these developments will most definitely lead to a growth in demand for chemical engineers in large numbers. Chemical Engineering at Ahmedabad University In addition to the traditional areas, many new areas and industries are likely to employ chemical engineers. Future engineers have to keep in mind that any development has to be sustainable. As far as possible, in any process, renewable energy should be used, raw materials should be used efficiently and waste streams should be minimized and harmful chemicals should not be released into the environment. The chemical engineering curriculum at Ahmedabad University has been designed keeping in mind the above considerations. We emphasize a project-based approach to learning and a design-driven curriculum to give graduates an aptitude for complex problem solving, design and innovation and lifelong learning. The school aims to prepare engineers who can work in an interdisciplinary and collaborative manner at the intersection of traditional disciplines. We are making concerted efforts to provide a holistic education that will be relevant in the 21st century so that our graduates can make an effective contribution in solving societal problems. I wish all of you the very best. May you have an exciting and bright future.